Alright, and now we go to the next one. So a nice power nap, everybody. Go back to my light videos. I scroll past all the vampire diaries. Don't judge me. So sad it's going off of Netflix. Um sponsorship over there. The pumpkin. Oh, Penn. <laughs> Penn doesn't want to be affiliated. <laughs> Hi, welcome or welcome back to Life on the Fringe. So today is Halloween. Happy Halloween. So we aren't going to be going out. So we thought, let's take our babies trick-or-treating. But the thing is, I like to make things complicated for myself. So I thought, let's try to find some YouTube tutorials on how to make healthy hamster treats for our hamsters and then we'll take them trick-or-treating in a little neighborhood I've set up in the house or apartment. So, so the next thing we're making is a carrot cake. This recipe is from Vanilla Ham Ham who makes these adorable cooking videos where the hamster narrates um, in a very cute little setup which we don't have. But we do have a ninja. So we're going to use that instead of grating the carrots by hand because we don't have a tiny grate. So we're just going to... We'll probably do the whole recipe inside that thing. Well, listen, we're supposed to... I'm following the recipe, right? Real life... I'm just saying... When you are going to grate it, and it's that few carrots, it's going to end up all over the walls. If you want the whole carrot, then what you're going to want to do is just do the whole recipe inside of that machine. But not yet. You can grate first. I'm just saying down the road. Because they, they're not sure you use all the carrots. You grate the carrots, and then you add the carrots to the mixture. All right, let's see. So I'm using nine carrots, because we're only doing... She does a double layer cake for her... Hamster, and since we're doing all these treats, and we're planning on giving them each one kind, each of the treats one kind, one kind, <laughs> kind of, of each, each treat. Each, yeah, I was gonna get there. One kind of each of all the treats tonight, which you should not do on a normal basis, by the way. Uh, but it's Halloween, and they're pretty healthy, so we are just doing single layer cakes and really we're probably going to cut them into cupcake size not even like a full cake and just give them a cupcake so anyhow i've never used one of these carrots now we need flour I put those away we need flour and um, a little bit of vegetable oil 100% pure vegetable oil cholesterol free good for the heart uh, how much do we need two teaspoons of flour a half teaspoon of water Okay, two teaspoons of flour, just the flour. Do you want me to add it right into here? Uh, I think it'll be easier for you.
do half teaspoon of water. Teaspoon. Just to visual it. What does I have right there? This is baking. Maybe precise. Gotta do the cooking by the book. Gotta be precise. How much vegetable oil do you add? It says a drop. It doesn't even say drop. It says it later in the video. A drop. So I'm going to use this one fourth teaspoon to try and get a drop. And I'm going to use a half of it. That's my drop measurement. You gotta do the cooking by a book. I gotta open this first, that's what I gotta do. Oh, I'm an independent woman. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's like a drop, right? Oh, no, you're gonna drop on the floor. Not. Is this a draw? Yep. Sure. Okay. Glad we opened our vegetable oil for that. Good as new. But the buckwheat, we have just so many buckwheat recipes at home. I can't wait to use the rest of that. I mean, I always eat organic buckwheat whole grain. Oh, is this whole grain flour? Yeah, what about it? Well, they said whole grain, so this technically is whole grain. There it is. Source of fiber. You know, why do they need fiber? You know, hamsters are a protein-based plant. 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 They're a protein-based um, diet. It's actually like a huge misconception. That's off. Not, yep. Still off. Shut up. Anyhow, it's a huge misconception that hamsters are fiber-based. So oftentimes you'll see people giving them like Timothy hay or Timothy hay like chews. We just bought a hamster packet today with apple orchard sticks and um, bamboo sticks for chews, which they can have. But it came with Timothy sticks, but it was marketed for hamsters. Timothy sticks aren't good for hamsters. They need protein and obviously like, you know, fruits and veggies are fine, but they don't need, and, and seeds, but they really don't need extra fiber. So. Do I just twist it now? You just press. Oh, I just press. Yeah, press down. Okay. Should we look? bad. I think it could use maybe a little more carrot. What do you think? Uh, it's always hard to tell with this buckwheat. That looks like a lot of carrot to me. Yeah, because it's not, it's not white. Because hers is very orange. Right. It smells carroty. But also, you want to cover the flavor of the buckwheat? I'm going to add another carrot. The Italian in you is coming out. What? What are you trying to say? Is the arts and crafts project of the evening. So, can you grab the tin foil? Thanks. So, we have to make, unless you have at home tiny little trays, we have to make little trays for this. which I'm not really sure how to do. I think I'm going to need scissors. We will do scissors. 
right. Jo join me at the arts and crafts table. So, it's basically... Can you see hers on there? Yeah, like a little aluminum it's, square it's pan. A, yes, a s aluminum square pan. I've never been good at origami. Do you think she double layers it? Well, uh, maybe. Doesn't really matter. It just well, needs to hold to shape. shape. Yeah. I'm gonna double layer. And then I'm gonna fold up. Aluminum ASMR. There you go. Okay. Now how did she get the sides? Did she just like... Oh, okay. Like a present. Alright, I got it. I don't got it. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Alright, now fold this. That's a corner. It's not pretty, but it's a corner. Okay, this goes up. I think I made this too long. Doesn't matter. Well, it kind of matters when you're individual cakes. We can just cut the cake once it's baked. <laughs> Nobody asked you. <laughs> Okay, okay, let me just cut this top piece. Hey! That's not bad for a first attempt. That's pretty nice, yeah. Now, she says she double layers her cake. We're not doing that. So you have to, you'd have to get them the same size. I don't have time for that. So, I'm gonna do the same thing again. I've got confidence. Vanilla Ham Ham, most of her channel is like recipe. You should see her hamster in these videos. She's like chowing down. Can't eat it fast enough. That's gonna be us. We're coming for that grind. That's a little less. It's like a bowl, but it's fine. It's fine. It's the thought that counts. That's what they say. It's the thought that counts. Anyway, it's the thought that counts. It's the song? That, no. The thought that's here to stay. It's the thought. It's the thought, everybody. It's the thought that counts. The thought that counts. The thought that counts. I don't know how the first one was the best. This is a cradle. Yeah. This is a bowl. But this is a tray. And I'm happy with that. That's what we're gonna use. What are we preheating the oven to? Um, what did we say? Three... Is this the 380, 181 or the 150? This is the 180. Then 350. Ten minutes. All right. See, hers look more orange. And again, I want to know what flower they're using. It didn't specify in this video. 
Personally, I said we should have gone for the freaking all purpose, but Stan said, no, we need a well, What else are we going to use the buckwheat flour for? That's a good point. And now for the a spatula. Next. What? I was just gonna use a spoon. Oh, right. The instrument that we've been using for everything else. <laughs> That's right. If you want to make hamster food, you need a spoon. I would mix it around first. You want to mix it around? It's so hard to do. It's not, it's not a mixing. Should we put it into something else and then mix? You're doing fine. I don't feel fine. You might have seen in the last shot that I took two Advil prior to this. Not sponsored. Not, not sponsored. <laughs> None of the things in this video were sponsored. Ninja, not sponsored. Whatever that product is, not sponsored. This cookie sheet though, not sponsored. Okay, this is gonna be like brown carrot cake. We're gonna put icing on it, it'll be okay. Alright, whatever. Okay. It looks like meatloaf. I said we should use white flour. You don't get to comment on how it looks. You just have to say... It looks healthy. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful and healthy. We look like the people who shop at Whole Foods. It looks like an excellent source of fiber. You need fiber. Okay, the next thing we're making for them, this one also has a, a non-healthy ingredient, which is another reason we decided to stick with like the healthiest flour, because um, the icing is made out of yogurt, which we don't usually give our hamsters, because it's just not like necessary or particularly good for them. Like, it's not bad for them, but it's not, not great. So, this should be a real treat with the yogurt on top. Because apparently hamsters like yogurt drops. Ah. Our little cookies into the oven. Cake. Oh yeah, cake. Because those are cookies. So we'll cut back to you. Uh, we're gonna do some dishes. We wait. And we wait. So our timer went off on time this time. So we're just gonna check on our little carrot cakes. Yum. <laughs> it does look like meatloaf. Pretty dumb. Uh, big time carrot meatloaf. Soft. Looks well, good. It's cake, right? That's right. supposed to be hard. So there's nothing that needs to be cooked in here. It's carrots and flour and water. So it's not like we're trying to cook a chicken or an egg. So these should be good. Just let them rest, right? Sure. And then we'll take off the tin foil. Later, um, we're gonna be putting on the icing. So where we are diverging, I don't know why I still have this on, where we are diverging from Vanilla Ham Ham is in her video, um, she uses milk drops and apple drops um, and like plain natural yogurt for the icing. 
and to, for decoration. Um, the milk drops thicken the yogurt, and the apple drops are used to make little leaves to go around the carrot that she puts on top, and it's very cute. Um, but we don't, I didn't want to buy treats that we aren't going to be giving our hamsters later, and like yogurt we could actually like use. So we are, we didn't buy those. Um, so we're, we're going to hope and pray that the yogurt is going to be thick enough to act as like a vanilla looking icing. Um, and then we'll just place a little tiny bit of a carrot on top of the cupcake. And like I said, we are not giving, on top of all those treats, the whole cake. I'll probably make like one of these cakes look like the cake and then cut this cake or this cake into little cupcakes and frost them and put little like teeny garnish of carrot on top uh, so that they don't die <laughs> of overeating. <laughs> now we gotta do the rest of the carrot cake bit. So taking out my carrot cakes from the tin foil. They're holding their shape fairly well. They're a little like moist but that's okay. Um, you know and you can see this one especially has a little bit big bit of carrot so that's exciting. Um, now we take our yogurt and this is where again I'm diverging from vanilla hand ham. So if this doesn't work, that's on me. That's not on her. Don't eat yogurt. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the leftovers. Where's my spoon? The last the last spoon. Um so I'm just gonna take a little bit here. And it's a lot. Okay. Well. I'm gonna spread it out with a knife. Don't worry. I've got a plan. Just use your finger. It's sticking to my finger. I'll just use a knife. It'll stick to the knife. I'll use the back end of the spoon. That's starting to look like something. Yeah? Yeah. Crap. Everything's happening at once. Okay. So this is going to be my, like, for show cake. And these are going to turn into my little cupcake treats. Now, I'm going to cut this to be a little more pointy. You know, like an ideal carrot. And then I'm going to make it a little smaller. Like so. Carrot cake! Cute. I think that actually is cute. Okay. Now I'm going to make little carrot garnishes for my cupcakes. So I'm going to cut this into three because we have three hamsters. Oh no, it came out. Then I'm going to put little there, there. Look, it's a little cupcakes! Very cute. I think these are really cute. Okay, I'm excited now. I was worried before, but I'm excited now. 